To match the XGen attribute or modifier values, right-click on the attribute icon and select the XGen attribute modifier tool. On the top, select the source description. In the attribute tab, the first two categories are values in the XGen primitive tab. The Renderman Renderer and GL Renderer categories are attributes from the Preview Output tab. To the right is all other XGen descriptions that are compatible to match the value to the current selected description. Our current description is using the Randomly Across the Surface option, which corresponds to the Random Generator. If we switch it to in Uniform Rows and Column and refresh the UI, you can see that it's now changed to Uniform Generator. The tool requires descriptions to have matching generator type. There will be no compatible descriptions we can match the values to. That is because the other descriptions are all using Randomly Across the Surface option. I will switch it back to Randomly Across the Surface on the current description. The tool also requires descriptions to have matching primitive type. If you have a description that is using cards, and the rest are using splines, you will not be able to match the attributes. Now, we have matching generator and primitive type. Let's take a look at how matching attributes work. Let's say I want to match density, length, width, and the width ramp. Simply go to the left column, identify the attribute name, hold down control key to select multiple attributes, then go to the right column, and select the descriptions you want to match the values to. Click on the refresh icon to deselect and refresh the attribute and description list. To match all the attributes, you can simply select all attributes, select a description, and click match. To match the modifiers, Switch to the Modifiers tab. The left column lists all current modifiers, and to the right is all descriptions in the scene. When a modifier is selected, the tool will list the same type of modifiers in other descriptions. You can see in this description, we have two noise modifiers. Both noises currently have different settings. Let's match them. Select Noise 1 in the left column. Clicking on a modifier will select all attributes in that modifier. Then, select Noise 2, and click Match. You can see now we copied over all the attributes. Instead of matching the entire modifier, you can also choose to match a single attribute. Let's say I want to match the mask value of a clump modifier. Simply find the attribute name under the clump. Select all the modifiers you want to match, and click Match. Here, I am just going to match all modifiers to get that coil shape to the hair clump. Instead of selecting the modifier one by one, you can also just use the button on the top to select all modifiers. I notice that I also need to give the modifier more CV count to get the coiled shape. Let's go back to our attribute tab and match over the CV counts. When using this tool, please note, this tool basically copies over the value of your attribute or modifier attributes. If you have value that is a path, it will be copied over too. Sometimes, copying entire modifier or attributes is probably not what you want you will probably have to relink the maps to the correct texture folder path. If this is not what you want, please select attribute one by one to copy them over.